Are Illusion MVP cards really worth your time? Welcome back to Cocky Gachas and in this video I'm going to cover this widely asked question I've seen floating around for quite some time and I've kind of formed an opinion on it and I'm going to share with you guys my opinion in this video but first as usual for people that are clueless about this entire situation I'm just going to give some context right what we are talking about exactly so if we go to the card album and we type in the word Illusion card so I'm pretty sure that most beginners are familiar with the fact that there are right Illusion cards to some of these monsters especially the common ones right there the hydra illusion card the skeleton worker tara frog as well as the mineral card so these are the illusion forms that are slightly weaker or i would say quite a lot weaker than the actual counterpart but they are obtainable through various shop redemptions however another aspect of these illusion cards are that they are also illusion cards of the mvp monsters which means that you can also obtain lesser versions of their original effects and this ones right they can only be obtained through the illusion card redemption shop so right now we are at the card redemption shop and over here you can select the illusion card redemption and here you'll be given the interface whereby you can trade your illusion fragments for the illusion mvp cards and as you can see right here i have 3100 and you need 2500 to actually redeem one of these cards and you can also use the um, illusion fragments to upgrade your illusion cards and level up your illusion cards subsequently with the illusion development random pack now with the basics out of the way the first question we have to ask ourselves when evaluating whether these cards are worth your time or worth your fragments right is that we have to take a look at which cards are actually good and what you are going to target for so i've shortlisted in my opinion a few cards that are very very decent and our targets for people to exchange the first one being the mistress illusion card and the reason why i think that the mistress illusion card is a good card especially for fs priest as well as the magnus exorcism priest is because it no longer requires you to have those gems so that you can cast your relevant skills like resurrection um or also magnus exorcism so this is the main thing and people might argue that hey sp consumption plus 50 percent i'm going to spend a lot more money and that is going to trade off with the fact that i don't have to spend money on blue gems right so it kind of balance out why do i need this card the reason is not because of the eden coin aspect it's more because of convenience and especially for people that do not have the kafra pass right you are not going to have access to the kafra shop all the time so when you run out of the blue gems when you are leveling when you're afk farming you're going to waste your combat time and sort of things like that especially in pv scenarios you realize that your blue gems are missing in instances such as jupiter's where you're suddenly to rest someone and you realize you have no more blue gems that's going to cost you more than just eden coin so that's going to cost you valuable time and also effort which is why i think that this is going to be quite good for fs and as well as the exorcism priests and next is going to be osiris illusion card and also one of the cards that i'm looking to exchange upon taking fatal damage you become invincible and uncontrollable for three seconds and then you revive with 20 percent hp and sp with a six minutes cooldown so this card is good in my opinion because you are able to survive asura strike and also the fact that you can revive with one life right sometimes can be quite valuable also in like mvp scenarios whereby if you were to die you have damage deductions or your score deductions so all these kind of things can play into part but it's mainly for pvp i would think and also for 3v3 whereby the asura uh, strikes are going to come your way all the time right but it does have a six minute cooldown but i still think that it's going to be worth it and especially for paladins i'm also looking at this because we have reflect damage so in this state we can also reflect damage to people especially in guild leaks where everything is very chaotic they are not going to stop attacking you just because they know that you are going to have an osiris um, illusion card right they just simply wouldn't know so this is why i think that this is going to be good next is going to be Fironi illusion card so Fironi illusion card neglects parry and flee this is quite huge and also i want to add one more thing it also neglects auto guard so uh, paladins are going to come out soon so auto guard parry as well as flee this is going to be especially good for adl hunters i think because if you were to face the lks the paladins in uh, pvp right you are going to have a really really sad time without this card so this is going to be pretty pretty decent and also if you are looking to just to keep this card right it does have a uh, physical damage plus 1.5 percent if you just collect this card so i think that most people are going to use it for its effect but if you want to just collect it it can also give you some additional gains that way also osiris card has a 1.5 percent magic damage increment if you collect it and that is about all the cards that i think are kind of worth it the rest i don't think they are that worth it in the future our duke card is going to be potentially good because it has a three percent chance to multiply your next attack by 100 percent so that is also going to be quite decent but it's not released yet so you can see not over here but these are all the cards that i think are worth it now at this point you might be thinking hey cocky you say that these cards are 
worth it, right? So you answered our question already. We are going to save for it and then we are going to definitely trade the card in. That's what you said, right? No, actually, no. This is not the main focus of this video. Honestly, I wish that the question is that simple. But of course, the reason why people are asking this is also because that there is a trade-off when it comes to these cards, right? Effectively, each of these cards are worth 25k diamonds you can take a look at the diamonds that i have over here if i just select 2.5k uh, of these fragments right it will go to 25k diamonds so that's why a lot of people are asking hey there's so much freaking diamonds is it really worth that stupid card or not and in my opinion i would say it depends now hold your horses don't scold me yet right don't think that i didn't answer anything i would tell you what it depends on so in my opinion really really it depends but what it depends on first thing is your diamond income so what do i mean by that each week you are going to be allocated certain amounts of diamond based on which kind of a guild or what guild you are in your contributions and also the things that you do in the game right so how can you obtain diamonds without paying so the first way is going to be through dailies right if you are to do this dailies you are going to have diamonds right this is a basic diamond income and also the main fact that you have to consider is from your guild so if we go to the auction house and we look at auction dividend so every time i participate in the guild league in the guild expedition as well as the time space anomaly normally this is what i would obtain 250 diamonds from guild lake 210 from guild expedition time space i'll get roughly 180 it fluctuates but it's roughly this amount so if you consider the whole week down right i would have definitely a lot more diamonds compared to some of you people and of course for you people that are missing events or you're in a less active guild a less prominent guild right you're definitely going to get less or different from me and of course a main source is going to come from your mvps depending on how active you are as you can see today i've already completed my 7 slash 7 including team rewards and i get all these random diamonds right depending on how lucky i get either 20 to 100 so this all adds up to a diamond income so the higher your diamond income the more worth it is going to be for you to exchange for illusion uh, mvp cuts because 25k diamonds right to someone that is earning 1k per week for instance it's going to take you 25 weeks that is 25 weeks of diamond income compared to someone that is earning maybe 7 8k diamonds it's only three weeks of diamond income so it's going to be a significant difference and you cannot really compare it side by side which is why i say that it really really depends and also the second thing i want to mention is that if you have enough diamonds to clear off the basic stuff so it's not just about diamond income it's also about clearing up the essential stuff so you have to look at what additional diamonds are going to provide you right because there is an opportunity cost when you redeem these cards and right here you can see i purchased a lot of stuff this week but is everything essential not exactly i'm only purchasing some of this stuff because i have extra diamond income but for people that i don't have extra diamond income i would say that your feathers are going to be pretty uh, prioritized at the early mid game section and also you're going to want to buy out your precious sigil packs and also your random rare imprint gift box blasted weapon oil is also quite essential if you're going to level up your stuff a energy especially now for your accessories are going to be essential so this one when you buy around the extra diamonds itself right they don't really compare to the initial diamonds you have right because the value of you buying the feathers versus the value of you buying like a pet training diary is going to be different right the value of this is going to be higher so having extra diamonds right now in my state right what can i purchase from this shop not exactly the best things that i want to purchase which is why extra diamond to me right is going to be much much less important compared to you if you are not playing the game actively right you don't even have enough diamonds or you have barely enough diamonds to just squeeze out to buy your feathers and to buy your uh, sigil packs right then it's going to worth a lot more to you which is why the illusion mvp cards right the fragments are more worth it for you to sell them all so that you can get the diamonds to buy the essential stuff to aid you in your progression as compared to you saving up for this card it's definitely going to be helpful to you but not as helpful as something like the feathers would be for your progression now adding on to my previous point about the rate of progression i also want to highlight something and that is that the active participation in MVPs not only increases your diamond rewards, which also makes it more worth it for the illusion uh, MVP cards, it also increases the rate at which you obtain this illusion card fragments, which is why I'm able to accumulate up to 3,100 in quite a short time, I believe. So for people that are currently only, for instance, on 200 fragments, right, from now to the fact that you are going to get 2,500 fragments, 
if it's going to be a super long time, the whole time, right, you are just sitting on a whole bunch of nothing. Your illusion fragments are not being sold, they are just sitting down there, right? So they effectively do nothing for you until the fact that you redeem that card. So maybe some of you that are less active, maybe your rate of act, uh, acquiring this illusion fragment is super, super slow. You're going to take like four months or three months before you get your first illusion uh, cut itself so it's going to probably not be worth it you can probably sell it off you can enjoy the progression along the way by getting the diamonds so that you can invest in those stuff that you're missing out in the ro shop be it in the alheim tower you can see that here i still have some packs that i haven't buy because i'm still thinking on which ones i want to buy but mostly you want to buy these alheim packs especially the ones that contains the chapter of freedom if you're interested in pvp so that is your priority and it costs a lot of diamonds right so from that angle you can definitely make use of the illusion fragments the diamonds that you can obtain from selling it as compared to you sitting on all these fragments right doing nothing and can't redeem the cut so this is going to be less worth it for people like this finally the last point that i want to raise for you guys to consider is the fact that like what i've mentioned right just now the cuts that i've mentioned are pretty good for you guys most of them are in fact for pvp so if you're really not interested in pvp i would suggest for you guys to not actually redeem these illusion cards and instead just go with selling off them off and then going to buy whatever things that is going to affect your progression overall especially in the pve aspects so you can see right here right even if you were to redeem this you and collect this right you're only going to get P damage plus 1.5 percent this one right if you translate to 25k diamonds right you can probably just buy the most ineffective stuff right if you go into the arrow shop over here you can probably just like buy up all these feathers that i probably wouldn't do it buy all these feathers dismantle it and then you're going to get the uh the truth feathers that is going to raise your physical damage over here right so let's take a look at this right so with that amount of feathers you can probably get close to it and even more with the additional physical attack as well as magical attack and also the overall tier of your feathers is going to be higher you're going to get more bonuses so this is just an example i'm not saying for you guys to do this but i'm just saying that for a lot of people that are considering only pve i would say that most of the time it's not going to be worth it with the exception of maybe the uh, mistress illusion card that is definitely for pve as well as for pvp scenarios right so this is the only card i would say that if you are only focused on pve you can still get it the rest of the cards really they are just for pvp and of course before we end this video i'm just going to redeem this osiris illusion card over here 2500 fragments i'm just going to redeem it and here we go we get the osiris illusion card honestly people might say that hey this is not a really good card right you are going to be better off with the diamonds but me personally i'm not just looking at the diamonds perspective i'm also looking at in the scenarios whereby this actually activates and i benefit from it right i will probably feel a bit happier it's not really for the rewards example in like 3v3 arena if i survive and i rush right and then we end up we win the battle because of it right i'm going to feel good about that and that can't really be translated into just courage points it can be more as a success of this character so that's why i don't really care much about the diamonds and of course like i mentioned my diamond income is pretty decent so i also think that it's going to be worth it for me and that about does it for this video where i cover this widely asked question that i've received multiple times i really thought through the options before sharing my opinion with you guys so that i hope that this will help you guys make an informed decision for your own account but end of the day this is just my opinion so do keep that in mind also if you are interested in something that would result in actual progression definitely check out my feathers guide over here i'll see you guys over there this is Koki gachas signing off